do you have dreams and ambitions, goals, things you want to do, but you feel like shit is not working out for you right now? Or you're trying a lot of stuff, it's failing, man. You don't know what's going wrong. You feel like life is just not on your side right now. Well, you came to the right video. Stay to the end to find out how to overcome all of these obstacles and guarantee your success. My name is the last CEO. This is the Uncut Chama, man, but I just want to give y'all a little bit of knowledge, man, because I know y'all, a lot of y'all be needing out there. I get spoken to at random moments. Oh, shit. And sometimes, man, I just need to let y'all know, man, like, y'all not the only one. You never the only one. And that's what keep me going. Like, I'm not the only one going through problems. You walking past people every day that's probably dealing with some shit way worse than you. And they just got to make you think, like, oh, I don't got it so bad. Hey, this nigga got caught right here. You feel me? He probably not finna come home until he about 50. She just lost somebody right here. Like, even, and that may be the case. You might got that going on, but if not, you lucky, man. And like I said, man, there's people always going through words or so. For one... I got it wrote down too. But for one, man, the first thing you got to do to really get out of that funk, and it's really simple, man. You really, it's the most simplest thing ever, which is learn yourself. And what I mean by that, what they got to do with me overcoming something by learning myself? I'm trying to do something. I got to learn myself. Let me tell you why. What's the most valuable thing you have possession of right now at the moment? You got a Cartier watch on? Oh, I got 50, 50 million in my pocket right now? No. Even with all of that, you still got something more valuable with you at all times, and that's your life. Your body. Without a body, you, you not nothing. Like You can't be alive without a body. You got to take care of yourself, your well-being, your mind, everything concerning you. You got to be enveloped in that shit. Cause, and not just people that's only caring about themselves, self self-centered. You got to really just take care of yourself and your... And what I mean by that, just seeing, oh, I don't like that. This makes me do that. Or I do this. This makes me feel that type of way. When I, you know, sleep too late, I feel like this. When I, you know, take too long to do this, I feel like that. You got to see, learn your patterns. And the thing, and the reason why y'all feeling that a lot of shit y'all doing is y'all don't see y'all patterns, bro. You got to be able to self-evaluate and see what you're doing wrong. See what your body, everybody different. You can't be looking at somebody else and try to take their routine and make it yours. It might work. If you really force yourself to. But how much it, it, it might be hard to make your own routine, but in the long run, it's gonna be easier. Specify just for you your own routine. You know how your brain works, so you know, oh, I'm OCD, so I gotta have it like this before I work. You got a messy ass, you, you know, like shit like that. Like, you got to know how you work. I might not be giving good examples because I'm freestyling right now. But, like, you can't get nowhere by not learning yourself. Like, you got to really take the time. People be out there trying to learn other people more than they self. Like, and other people knowing you more than you know yourself. That shit don't work right. It really don't. Like, you got to be able to know how your self work, how your mind work, how you react to different situations, how different shit make you feel to be able to, to be successful. And if you just overlapping how you feel, like, you're not going to get nowhere. You're not going to get nowhere. You need to be able to control how you feel, how manipulate, change. You got to master your own mind and master your body. You got to. And not completely master, you just got to get on the point of, of learning, like, bruh, if you, 
And you gotta know when you gotta, and another thing, a big one, it's not just, oh, you know, I sleep too late. I'm trying to get up and work on shit and I'm too sleepy in the morning type shit. But uh, it's like shit to where uh, you gotta really just know. Oh, let me cut this out. You gotta know when you, when some something is some bullshit and when something not. A lot of y'all, like I said in the last video, that's not the last video, but you know, it ain't right though. But in the last video, I say you gotta realize like when something not good for you. You gotta realize when something is good for you. You gotta realize when something not. You can't just go into everything thinking it's good just because you see money. People only show you the good, anything online. It's, it's really rare that somebody gonna up front show you the truth about everything. Like show you the exact money that I, as soon as the video start, they show you the exact amount of money they make off of their own phone, their own analytics type shit. Or, you know, people rarely gonna do that. They gonna show you the, and all the reason for that is not always good. It's struggles like, dips months where it might not you you feel me it might not go good for you excuse me right now sorry. but people on it like social media Insta, every social media app everything people be on facebook twitter like nobody unless you're trying to be funny or something bro like nobody show you the bad shit nobody the people that's promoting you and teaching shit, they not going to show you the bad shit. They want you to do the shit. Because nine times out of ten, it's a link in a description affiliated with whatever, whatever the fuck they were just talking about. So, they, of course, they want you to see that it's good. All it takes is this initial investment. Everything ain't like that. Some shit good, like courses. People sell courses on teaching you to do shit, shit like that. But you got to know when you follow for some bullshit. And you got to know what to pursue. Learn yourself. Find what you passionate at. Find, what you, find a good skill. If you don't got a skill, learn a skill. It don't take nothing to learn a skill, bro. Go on YouTube. You can learn how to fucking speak five languages in a week. Off of YouTube. Go on that shit, man. Look, browse, man. Just really think. Sit Turn everything off, turn your phone off, turn all devices off. You feel me? Isolate yourself. Go somewhere, go outside. Outside help a lot. Like for me, going outside, it open your mind up to new shit. Cause you can look different more places. It's more, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it's more to look at. You ain't just looking at the same wall like how I'm looking at right now. But get a skill, man. I know everybody I, I got something that they good at or okay at you not just trash at everything even if there's fucking pouring water i don't know tying your shoes fast and boy, don't you know anything the smallest little thing and it, depending on what your goal is bro if you want to be really good at something and make it a business a job or you know, get income off of it. Even if it's the smallest thing, the most smallest bullshit. Amplify that shit. I'm talking about go into it, learn every single thing you got to. So that little skill you got that you okay yet and kind of unique and stand out. Now you can turn that shit into you might. The fact that you just going in so deep on whatever skill you're trying to do. It's going to open your eyes to even more new pathways. Oh, I can maybe do this. Instead of just doing it like that, I can maybe do this with this. And that's like some different shit. I don't really see people do that. And I can maybe do this the fastest, you know. If you really get to that point where, oh, I, I think I'm pretty much better than most people I, you know, around me or in my field and I know I can do so faster or better to, you know, learn some shit, bro. It don't take nothing at all, bro, with time.
you got time to do all this other shit. Learn some shit, get a good skill. And that's one of the big things, like, man, don't do no shit that you, you're not good at, bro, that you just trying to make money at. You could. It's all on your time, bro. It's how you spend your time. Because you can do all the bullshit you want. But is that shit going to matter in the future? And uh, even not even fucking years, like a month. Is you going to be happy with the work you put in in a month? You know, a month away from now with this. And it's something, if it's something that you don't, didn't have faith in, and it just took a little bit of effort to get you into it, you seen son, one, one or two things, you got in a little, you know, you start researching a little bit, searching up a few things, dealing with it, watching a few videos, and now you feel like you can start. Hell no, bro. It don't work like that. Them people that showing you that shit, man, they been on that shit. Or they knew like you and trying to, you would better tell somebody new, but they going to be trying to sell your ass on that shit. Like, they not finna sell you on how bad it is if they trying to sell it. You feel me? So, yeah, man, just learn what you good at. Pick something you passionate in if you don't know nothing or have something really you think that's valuable. Pick some, man. Go hit, go heads deep on that shit. Practice it until you can do the shit. Not with your eyes closed, but no thought. Like be able to be on top of that shit, like the best. Like nobody around you can fuck with you in that shit. You get to that point with anything, bro. You winning. Keep going with that shit. I don't care how little, small it is. I don't care how big, large it is. Keep doing that shit. You can always scale shit higher. You can always scale shit higher. I'm a reseller, man. I ain't gonna go in exactly into that. But if y'all wanna know, about this or you want me to make a video on this little business right here just let me know this is pretty much the end of the video uh, i hope y'all enjoyed it took a lot of information from it hope y'all watched to the end if y'all did comment below like the video uh follow me on instagram let me know screenshot show me you like the video i seen your ass some bread uh yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Y'all stay tuned for the next videos. And I'm out. Peace.